we are set and ready to vote for who will change our lives. All the old stories, all, things, all the things that have been told us, all the lies that have been told us in campaign now, there are not going to be lies anymore. He's the candidate of the ruling party. He has about 21 governors working for him. And so far, there's still um, more unity in the APC than there is in the PDP. And then he still has the funds, he has the resources to pull this up. Despite the Naira crisis at the moment, the APC has still been able to forge ahead. The APC has been able to penetrate into the areas that have the bulk of the votes. And lastly, Tinubu has never lost an election before. Is that spark going to be enough to um, ignite a fire, a big fire within such a short period of time? But the answer is most likely no, because if you look at the most of the people that are supporting Peter Obi, there are three categories of people. You have the urban educated youth in the various parts of the country. You have the Igbos who believe that it's their turn because since 1966, no Igbo from the Southeast has um, been president of Nigeria and also the, the Christians. Peter Obi is the only Christian on the ballot with a fighting chance of becoming president because all the other candidates are Muslims. Uh, but at the end of the day, this category of people, are they enough to get him elected? There's the unity issue as well. You know, there we have serious um, secessionist agitations, especially in the southeast of the country. And if Peter Obi doesn't emerge, you know, some experts already say there's going to be an upsurge in the activities of separatists. So you're going to have a president who needs to unite the country. You're going to need a president who also can help repair Nigeria's image and the uh, foreign scene as well.